Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're well. I forgot how to actually do videos there for a second. You wouldn't believe how long it's just taken me to try and set this video up. But look, I thought I'd do this this video because it puts to bed, it should put to bed, a rumour that has been going for some time. And that is whether Princess Kate is alive and well or whether she is buried under some patio in one of the royal's um, backyards or front yards or big they've got massive yards it could be anywhere so it could have been buried anywhere and look there's been a lot of speculation there's been sightings that they've said isn't her there's been things that they think that prince william may have done to her and things that he may be doing to other people and she may have found out and that their relationship is heading for not so happy times but look what we do know is, or what we've been told, and I would say it's pretty, do you know what, yes, she's not very well, she's not very well, and look, today, we heard a few days ago that King Charles had requested her to be in attendance for Troop in the Colour, she was going to potentially appear up on the balcony, you know, the famous balcony, but anyway, look, look what happened, look what happened today, I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to share it a little bit different. I'm going to go on to this screen. So here, look. Beaming Kate returns to royal events at Trooping the Colour, her first public appearance since cancer diagnosis. There she is. There's a picture of her there with little Louis, Prince Louis. And I would say that that is definitely her. I know that there's going to be some people that says that's potentially AI, but we'll get to a video soon. Princess of Wales joined the royal family on the balcony of Buckingham Palace for the trooping the colour flypast. After making her first public appearance since the announcement of a cancer diagnosis, Kate 42, wearing a pale outfit, was earlier pictured arriving at Buckingham Palace in a car sat alongside her children and her husband, the Prince of Wales, um, ahead of the event to celebrate the King's official birthday. The princess, who has been receiving treatment for an undisclosed sorry, form of cancer since late February, and her three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, were chaired by crowds along the mall as they left the palace in a carriage for the ceremony. Um, the future queen looked relaxed as she travelled along one of London's most famous thoroughfares with her family in a carriage. Would you like to see it? Of course you would. Of course you would. We'll see it in a minute. All right, I'll show you it now. There you go. There you go. So that is the little video there. Let's carry on. Look, she should be she she could be seen smiling and talking to her children in the carriage before they arrived at Horse Guards Parade in Whitehall. Um, William rode on horseback for the procession alongside the Princess Royal and the Duke of Edinburgh. The king, who is also undergoing cancer treatment, rode in a carriage with the queen. A departure from last year because of his illness and inspected the officers and guardsmen from the coach rather than from a horse. When the royal carriages finally came to a stop, Louis was the first to leave, followed by his elder brother George and sister Charlotte. Finally, Kate stepped down wearing a Jenny Packham dress, hat by Philip Treacy, and the Irish Guards Regiment brooch as she is the regiment's colonel. There we go there. There's some more pictures from the event. Ones that no doubt people will be saying are potentially AI generated. And there is a picture from the balcony. In another change from last year, Kate did not join senior family members on a dais 
but watched the military spectacle, also known as the birthday parade, from a balcony in the Duke of Wellington's former office with her children. There you go, picture of them there. Don't know what the fall guy's got to do with it. I don't think he was there. Um, Prince Louis VI at one point seemed to be distracted by a blind cord and was seen yawning while watching the parade before dancing along during the quick march of the Scots Guards to Highland Laddie. Heavy rain began to fall as the royal procession made its way back to Buckingham Palace, but the king and queen, as well as Kate and her children, were protected from the downpour in their covered carriage. And there is a fly past by the Red Arrows there. Some more pictures from the scene. Show and typical British weather. This is literally what the British weather has been like. We've had about four different seasons today and some that I've never seen before. Princess Charlotte 9 smiled and waved enthusiastically to the crowds who braved the weather, while her brothers also smiled and waved to the sea of umbrellas along the mall. They're really pushing the fall guy. A 41-gun salute was then fired by the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery in nearby Green Park before Kate and her family joined the King and Queen, as well as other royals, on the Buckingham Palace balcony to watch the RAF fly past. They smiled and waved to the cheering crowds before standing proudly as the national anthem was played, with the fly past ending with the red arrows trailing their trademark red, white and blue colours. Head of the event, Kate said, I'm looking forward to attending the King's Birthday Parade this weekend with my family and hope to join a few public engagements over the summer but equally knowing i'm not out of the woods yet i'm learning how to be patient especially with uncertainty probably something what the general public should do um learn to be patient yes i've spoken about the obligations that the royal family have and yes they do have them but as long as they handle that correctly and they let people know what is going on, and this is a massive step in doing that, then sh people shouldn't have a problem. Um, talking to, taking each day as it comes, listening to my body and allowing myself to take this much needed time to heal. And there we go. Some more pictures from the event. Um, we're even going to mention his name. And then we've got going out on her appearance was in doubt after she missed the final troop and rehearsal last weekend. This is Kate's first official out of 2024 after she missed engagements at the start of the year when she was admitted to hospital for abdominal treatment. At the time, her condition was thought to be non-cancerous, but tests after the successful operation found the disease and Kate disclosed the diagnosis in March. A time frame has not yet been set for Kate's return to a full schedule of public engagements but i think it's safe to say she is certainly certainly close and we all we all should wish her the absolute best but let's see let's see what happens in the next few days are we going to see people trying to pull this apart and say it's not actually her or are people just going to accept that look she's she's human she's ill and she was just keeping herself out of harm's way but i just thought i'd bring it to you because i saw it and i thought you know what you guys deserve to know she's 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 getting there she's she's a soldier just like you guys stay amazing and i'll catch you all tomorrow <laughs>